Hello there, welcome to Crafting Unedited. Today we're going to show you how to use the group and ungroup tool in Design Space. What this does is it takes your images from a cluster of separate images where you can move them in pieces and parts and puts them as to one image so that when you click on it you move the entire image as one rather than having to move this and move that and misalign everything. So let's dive in. Right, so we have an image that we want to um, move some pieces, parts, or, you know, uh, change something, right? So what I did was I took this image from Design Space Images right here. And uh, what that did, I'll find it for you. So you can see before I ungrouped it, there it is, right there. It is a Cricut Access image, so you do have to have the Access membership in order to utilize it. So right now you can see it's all attached, right? So what I did was I selected the whole thing, just like this, and I ungrouped it. That's this button right here. And what that does is it separates all of the pieces and parts. Well, the ones that aren't welded together, that is. And in order to reattach them, or regroup them, you just select them all and hit group. Now they are whole again. Woohoo! Now another option that you can do in order to weld or unweld something, so that means like if you ungroup it and you want it to all stay together and you don't want it to move around like that, you would select the whole thing and weld problem with weld is, as you can see, it turns it all one color and you cannot change the color. Once you weld something, the only way to do undo it is hit the back button or undo up here. However, once you make the project, you cannot unweld it. Once it's welded, it's welded for life. And that, my friends, is how you weld or unweld an image. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, friends. That is how you use the group and ungroup tool in Design Space. Until next time, make sure you subscribe um, and hit that like button so that you can see when I'm on and so that you can see all of my fun tutorials for you. Hope to help you guys out a lot in the near future with lots of these tutorials. We'll see you later.